is a comedy legend who has starred in some of the funniest, funniest classic movies of all time. Take a look. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm wet. I'm wet. I'm hysterical and I'm wet. I'm in pain. Look at that. Steady as a rock. Yeah, but I shoot with this hand. <laughs> you bet. I put that radio to your ear. That's gonna help cover your face, right? And just move with the rhythm of the music. Move your body with the rhythm of the music. That's all you gotta remember, okay? Let me see you try. Step to the music. Step to the music. Yeah. Step to the music. Stop. What knockers? True original, Gene Wilder. Why, thank you, Doctor. <laughs> he goes, he goes, what knocker? And she says, my phone is on. It's a beautiful thing. Out the, the last part of that when he says, she says, what nice knockers. Thank and you, doctor. And she says, thank <laughs> you, doctor. <laughs> the funny Tar Terry Gar, Gar, she was hilarious in oh, that film. Yeah. You have been in some of the greatest, funniest movies of all time, I think. You say that because of all the movies I turned down that weren't good. <laughs> Honestly, everyone wants to make so many movies, and I said, I'm... I should have made more, and I'm glad I didn't. But the, the producers in Mel, uh, with Mel Brooks yeah. and Young Frankenstein, those are two South. of the yeah. funniest movies yeah. Yeah. ever made. Yes. And yeah. you wrote and directed but, Young but Frankenstein. But you're not. But nope. you're not uh, I mean, his I wrote, role in starting. I wrote, yeah. Yeah. I wrote it. I didn't realize I started that. it, yes. I, I thought, I knew you started it, and I had no idea that you wrote in it, and they're doing the Broadway, it's coming to Broadway now. Yes. Thoughts on that? Are you gonna be involved? No. <laughs> no. Oh. I, uh, you I, seem I, to have stopped acting, Jane. I didn't seem to, I did. Why? I did stop. Why? 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 Oh, gosh, it's funny. I mean, people miss you. Why would you give up this I'll tell you why, because of all the things that I'm offered, you know, yeah. so much of it is based on the F word, and the, the mother effing, and the effing, and the F you, and all that. Or special effects, or obvious sex, or um, things that I, I say, well, it's not a bad script, but it's not good for me. Or uh, I'm good, but it's not, or something like that. So it's a deliberate, you haven't meshed. No, but when I started no. writing, uh, something what happened. What you doing now? Yeah, and I, I enjoy it so much. I go into my study, uh, write for an hour and a half or so, come out, have a cup of tea, get a quick kiss from my wife, mm -hmm. go back in for an hour or two, have a little lunch, go back, write till 3.30, quarter to four. What a nice life. And then I do what I want. That's a good life. Yeah, I did I that for it. four years, I loved it, except kissing your wife, I didn't kiss her. Yeah. <laughs> The new book, um, I French Whore, A Love Story, it's really very, very beautiful, Jean, and yeah. it's kind of inspired by your wife in some ways, you said. Yes. Yes, not yes. that she's a whore, but... Uh, <laughs> is she French? French. No, no, she's no, not she's even not, French. No, she's not French, no, no. But this was, this was sort of after, after Gilda, you never thought that you would find that kind of love again. That's right, I didn't yeah. think. I'm very lucky that... I don't say lucky, I never believed in fate. I think you make your own life and, mm. and call it fate. But in this case, with my wife, who's out there somewhere. Fair. Can we um, see? Uh, How long have you been married now? Fifteen and a half yes, years. She's wow. going, don't, don't put the camera on There she is. Hi. Yeah. Oh, that's so And nice. it's the story of a young soldier yes. whose two friends get shot in the head and first day of war, and he gets captured and he passes himself off as a spy. And what happens to him as a result of that and it's very, very beautiful. It's, touching. it's a little yeah. fable. Yeah. And uh, what I, I just, it, it's been in your head a long time, I read. 38 years. Yeah, the original story. I was story. alone and very lonely in Paris, uh, making a film, one of my first films. And I had this idea, and I said, I'll go back and I'll write it as a screenplay. And I would play the part mm. of Paul Peachy, the right. hero. And I wrote it, and I looked at it, and I said, this is rotten. <laughs> It's a, it, but the story <laughs> is wonderful, but the script is, is bad, so I put it aside. And then after I wrote that 37 years later, well, I'll tell you about this. I, I had uh, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, mm. oh boy. and I was in uh, Sloan Kettering having a stem cell transplant, mm -hmm. and uh, I thought, after finding Karen, 
after so long a time. I wasn't afraid of dying. Uh, I could accept that, but I couldn't see her surviving. She, she's strong, but to leave her like that, oh, so suddenly it happened. And I, when I got out, and I'm one of the lucky ones now, I'm in complete remission. Yeah, because non-Hodgkin's lymphoma is treatable in one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, I started thinking about my French whore and that story from 38 mm -hmm. years ago. Mm -hmm. And by that time, Karen was the emotional powerhouse that drove it. Mm -hmm. And uh, so anyway. When yeah. I read it, Gene, I thought it would make a beautiful movie. It's funny that you said the script wasn't good because my first thought was I could have visualized the whole thing. That script wasn't good. But then after the first draft of my French whore, my old boss, Alan Ladd Jr., oh. uh, read it. Oh, yeah. And he said, I think it's a wonderful, it would make a wonderful movie. And I'd like to do it, but only if you write the screenplay. And act in it. No. No, uh, I'm too old to act in it. I want to say something about looking at, at Karen, because um, what a wonderful face and wonderful smile. And oh, thank you. You were married to, uh, you are married and you were married to the exceptional Gilda Radner. Mm -hmm. And you and I have a bond, because Gilda did a ba wa 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 Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And I used to hate it. And remember when Gilda came up to me? You... We were in Cannes, France, and going to a little restaurant that's, uh, I know it because it served baked potatoes, which is hard to find in France. And, uh, and we were walking in, Gilda and I were walking in, and there you were. Yeah. And Gilda felt so apologetic <laughs> about the Baba Wawa. And you were very gracious to her, and you laughed and it made her she feel good. She was so wonderful. I hated it for years, but Gilda was so great, and my daughter Joy was saying, yeah. one day I was watching it, and Gilda was doing ba wa 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 and I said, hey, look at that, and my daughter said, oh, mommy, lighten up. Get over it. <laughs> yeah. Get over it. Totally that's right. good, that's good. <laughs> well, Jean, this is a really, really beautiful book. Thank you, it honey. really is. You should be very proud of it. Go get it. I read it in two hours, and I loved every minute of Thank it. Thank you, dear. And I, would, I hope it comes to the screen because I'd love to see Peachy going through all of his things and on the motorcycle and the whole thing. You're all getting a copy of this. It's delightful to see you. Please remember to check out Gilda's Club. If you or anyone in your family is touched by cancer, they're all over the country in memory of Gilda Radner. We will be right back with Willow Bay after this. Thank you so much.